the WWE Universe on their feet. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Daddy Boom from the fifth dimension. Gentlemen, I think this one's going to turn into a fight in a hurry, and I cannot wait. And, of course, quick thank you to everybody watching tonight for spending part of your Halloween with us. And I can see that Saxton got dressed up for the occasion. I didn't realize they made nerd costumes. that she's the one that built the women's division. It's a claim Bailey has every right to make. She's the longest reigning SmackDown Women's Champion in history at 379 days. Listen, Bailey couldn't be more aggressive. She couldn't be more vicious. And she claims she's a role model for all the women in WWE. I can't believe Bailey has gone so far as to shave the name of her rival in the back of her head. Who does that? Well, those of us that have hair to work with Saxton generally try to do mind games like that. Maybe we can get you a dry erase board for your head. And Corey, I can tell you these superstars are excited to be able to compete tonight on Halloween. Would you stop, Cole? Do you really think these superstars care about a silly holiday like Halloween? The only thing they care about is winning a match. With Bailey, it's all about control, controlling the situation, controlling her own success, even controlling the entire women's division if she can. Well, Bailey is a full-on control freak as far as I'm concerned. She's a manipulator who takes what she wants by any means necessary. Yeah, Bailey demands to have things exactly to her liking and pity anyone who gets in the way of that. But you have to remember, she's going against someone who is singularly focused on winning this match. Someone who only cares about winning no matter the cost. Piercing the throat. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. To the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. That blow put Bailey's big aspirations on hold for a moment. Now it did. Palm strikes. Just going all out with every blow. Oh, right on the arm. Not good. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. Here we go. Diving foot stomp. Brutal. When you're dealing with a renowned strategist like Bailey, patience is key. Bailey wants to lure you into overexposing yourself and making mistakes. You have to be careful. Only attack when you see a nice, clean opening. Seizing upon those ideal moments definitely sounds like a good way to get the better of the always scheming Bailey. That kind of force in the arm can have lingering effects. What a rolling elbow. Uh-oh. She's got an answer for that. What a boot! And Bailey met with some resistance there. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Oh, strong knee connects. And 
answer that with a knee to the gut. Bailey connects with a right hand, draping her opponent. How about a stunner over the middle rope? And it looks like she wants to take this match outside. Uh-oh. High angle belly to back suplex. Isolating their opponent's arm and oh! Goodness gracious. You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. She throws her back in. Contact to the back of the neck. And another just non-stop aggression. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Stomping, ouch. What a show of disrespect from Bailey. Oh, an elbow drop and then look at the knee strikes. Oh my God. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. She has her target weighed and measured. Up high, cross body from the top. This boom, nice. Well scattered reversal there. Springboard off. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, from the rope. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Bailey from up high. No. Oh, yeah. That mean streak of Bailey's is certainly showing itself here, just pouring on the punishment. The role model, not exactly a favorite here. Bailey zeroing in on her. And that prevents Bailey's attack. Oh, straight forearm. That's it. Calling it by knockout. Here is your winner. And tonight is not a good night for Bailey. I wonder who Bailey's going to blame for this.